Hey, well, what's up? up? How we doing? Good. Everything's been uh, cool and just fine. Pretty cool. All right, good, good, yeah. good. Yeah. Good seeing you, man. The kids are the kids are gone. They're disappointed. They wanted to. Oh yeah, those there. are my jams, man. Yeah. 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 I love it. What is up, y'all? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, evaporator swap on this courier and a new filter dryer. So, I'm just getting ready to pump this sucker down. Came out here basically on the maintenance. It did let me know that some of the things were not cooling properly. So, what I ended up doing is just overlooking the system. Saw the pressures were a little low. Was able to pinpoint, not fully pinpoint, but my sniffer was hitting up in the coil up there, so I knew, hey, it's going to be an evaporator coil and it's under warranty. So no need to fully find it. We just added a little bit of refrigerant just to get them cooling. And it wasn't much, but maybe a pound and a half, two pounds, just to get them going. And that was about two weeks ago. So we finally got the coil in. I'm gonna go ahead and pump the refrigerant back into the condenser. That way we can cut it open upstairs. And I think we gotta swap the TXD from the old one to the new one. Yeah, that's what we got going on today. Let's get it. Then I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab my tablet so I can check the pressures and make sure they get low enough. Cool, 15.4, might lose a little bit. All right, so that's all closed, that's all good and well. Go ahead and put, I'm gonna put this stuff upstairs with me just in case because it's probably, looks like it may start raining any second now. Oh yeah, that's the basic easy part. Thankfully, it's already cold inside. I'm just gonna grab my torches, get them to the front door. The, whatever that other thing's called the coil over here because I might, like I said, with these carriers, sometimes got to sweat that equalizer back in. We'll see if they, they have that. Got my booties ready to go. So, so I'm gonna grab everything out of there, put it over here, go take my nitrogen tank, put it around back so I can start flowing it to braze it up there. Put this away. Yay. I'm gonna go take this around back just because I know obviously we're gonna need it with this as well. So, one moment. Torches. And only because it looks like it's gonna rain, I'm not gonna take my vacuum around back just yet. And that should be everything I need up there. I'll take some of this wet. some of this wet rag and I'll take a couple pairs of gloves.
find a way to make it work and find another route. Always had a way to make it work and find another route. Always had a way to make it work and find another route. Always had a way to make it work and find another route. Alright, we got the coil in. This will go on sweat this little tube here, put this equalizer back here. Um on sweat this little piece up here because it'll fit right back on there off of this elbow. Got enough on the back of this little stub there. We'll run this back over. Got it on, got that straighter out right there. And we are on our brace setting. Get back up in there, unsweat that little stubby piece off the liquid line. And then what we'll be able to do, excuse me, oh, hair looks rough, sorry. God, looking like a mess. And then we'll just sweat everything back together. Pressure test. Then after we're done pressure testing, evacuate. Phone guide, always a good time. Smoke alarms continue to go off. There's plenty of them, so that was fun. Um, swapped out the filter dryer, got the TXV all tied and everything's good. Customer actually left, so I'm just out here in a truck letting the system run. And right now it's at a 10 degree sub cool. Requires, I wanna say 14. If I looked at the data plate right, requires 14. So we're gonna let it run for another five, 10 minutes. And we'll be good to go. Then I got an estimate to go do, look at the system. They want a mini split in the garage and then um, go back to a new install actually where the customer says it doesn't seem to be cooling, but they don't think they have it grasped on how the system operates. So I'm gonna monitor it. I'm gonna monitor this one, then I'm gonna blitz over to the other calls. And that's gonna conclude today's video, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Got a little entertainment. Maybe you learned something. It's an evaporator swap, so you just have your same processes and procedures in place and you'll be good to go. This was a older footage that I had in my phone. You can tell if you look at like the way my, my pack outs were set up, it's a different way than I have them organized now. So it was just something that I had in the phone when I was clearing it out. I didn't think I had enough filmed of it that I'd want to share with you guys, but I played it all back, put this together, and hopefully you liked it and got a little something out of it. Uh, but with the phone always dying, what I ended up doing is getting one of these little MagSafe like chargers to put on the back of the phone so it'll always stay charged during cases like this so there'll be a link in the description <clears throat> there won't be a link in the description i'm just joking but if y'all could smash the like button man consider subscribing all my subscribers y'all already know i appreciate y'all i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one later <laughs>